This is 2nd Ezra 8 and 47. For thou hast come as far short that thou shouldest be able to love my creature more than I. But I have oftentimes drawn nigh unto thee and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. And this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorious, to be much glorified among the righteous. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And as I was just reading this um this uh precept right here, second Ezra 8 46 on down. The spirit hit me um, That two thirds They always thought they were safe And that was their downfall Which Lord willing through the spirit I'm going to name it that Two thirds they always thought they were safe And that was their downfall Okay And that's right here the angel Uriel Is talking to um, Ezra And Ezra is um, you know Pleading with the Lord trying to understand you know why Israel's in such a predicament they are and then the angel uh Uriel you know which he's speaking basically he's a you know a conduit all right because we know the angels they speak to us all right which they are a conduit uh, of uh Yahweh you know through Yahweh they speak to us all right just as you know we speak to the people all right, and we are a conduit, all right, the prophets, which we believe we are, we are a uh, conduit, all right, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the angels are a conduit to us from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's, that's the, uh, that's how things go, you know? So, the angel is telling, um, the angel Uriel is telling Ezra, all right, that the Most High, he draws nigh unto you because you are humble. All right, contrary to the unrighteous, who are, which are not humble. That's why it goes on to say, "And that thou hast humbled thyself, as it has as it becometh thee, and has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. For many great for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. You know." And um, as I was thinking during this lesson, you know, I've been watching the apostles and I, I go on their comment board, you know, because brothers put, you know, good scriptures pertaining to the lesson. And then you always have a scoffer in the scorner, you know, talking his shit as if the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, 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 is not coming to pass, you know. And this is scoffers and scorners, you know. And even those that may not necessarily get on the comment board and scoff, you know, but they, they don't believe in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Christians, these wacky tacky Christians, they think they're safe. They literally say, I'm saved, you know, I'm saved, I'm saved. Meanwhile, they don't know what's coming down the pipeline, man. They don't know that Esau Edom is getting ready to starve them out. They don't know that Esau Edom is going to come down like a, a madman sparing none. All right. They don't know that Esau Edom is going to force the chip upon them, and if they don't take it, they could be put it, put to death. You know, there's movies and like particular games that show you what Esau's planning to do. If you don't take the chip, if you don't consent to the king, you know, just as in you know the times of the Greeks, if you don't consent to the king, you will be put to death. There's going to be firing squads. All right. There's articles, you know, out that Esau. Has ordered uh, smart guillotines You know They don't understand that They think they're safe So therefore they walk in their pride You know Because the things that They, they believe that the things that we're saying Are, are far off Alright they, they believe that the things that they're saying That we're saying are far off Alright Meanwhile you have Countless articles about the RFID chip coming out you have countless articles and countless videos about protests all across the world. 
all right you have countless articles about this this dollar uh, uh falling all right it says for many great miseries all right so this goes to show you that they are they aren't safe shall be done to them that in the latter time which are we not in the latter are we not in the latter days all right to prove that as the scriptures say uh in um in the last days now shall be increased it's not knowledge be increasing it's all types of books all right and we have the internet all right it's all types of books and articles all right proving who the israelites are who the lost tribes are all right there's even edomites so-called white people of the of the amalekites the so-called jews all right coming out saying that you know they're not the real jews proving that we are in the latter times for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride and as the days go on the pride gets this uh, gets stronger man but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee and that's what we do man all right and this is why through the spirit you know the apostles and elders they already they put out the uh, decree all right to not go live they put out the apostle to Hardy put out the decree uh, uh you know six seven months ago no new members in great millstone because we're only seeking out the glory of such as be like unto us all right fuck this world man and niggas in it man they're gonna die we see that we see that man all right they're gonna die many great miseries all right going into what wisdom of solomon even says this is the mindset of a two-third all right for the ungodly said reasoning with with themselves but not a right all right they warped in the head our life is short and tedious and in the death of a man there is no remedy neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave this is why we tell them that the most high is coming back and he's going to judge these people they say well that's not going to be in my generation why should i care all right for we are born at all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of of our earth all right and we always bring this out for esau but as if, even the uh yahweh shai said you have your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and the boat not in the truth and two-thirds of our people don't abode in the truth they don't care all right what the lord has to say all right uh, uh esau is their lord man all right they 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 they're more concerned about what's happening now all right than what's to come and this is why they're gonna uh, uh get judged for that man you know like two-thirds at the time of your house persecution all right they were saying what crucify him crucify him and let his blood be upon our hands not realizing that they will have to answer for that all right and this is why two-thirds constantly getting shot down by police this is why two-thirds um got hung all right even after slavery man were lynched and hung and burned and you know the woman being raped this is why and this is why it's going to happen again all right the lord himself said in uh, deuteronomy 32 he even prophesied that two-thirds would go their own way man all right and he said well i will go to my place all right and um no that's lucky that's a hosea but it says something to that extent in deuteronomy 32 all right he said i will go to my place and i will see what the end should be all right hosea it says um in the affliction they will seek me early you know because jake think they safe man until that affliction hits their ass man you know until a major earthquake happens until it actually hits them in the face literally man you know but other than that you know jake just chilling man they, they getting ready for um you know thanksgiving they getting ready for christmas they chilling man all right which being extinguished our body shall be burnt into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as a soft air you know reincarnation why get the fuck out of here yolo you know that's how people think and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun 
and overcome with the heart thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning. For it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Not understanding, all right, that you have to answer for everything you do, man. You have to answer either in this life or in the next life for everything you do. All right. This is um. Sirach chapter five, verse one. It says, "Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life." All right, and that's what most people do. You know, and as a matter of fact, they scoff at us for telling them that this so-called white man is going to take away their goods, man. You know, they call us crazy for saying that. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength. To walk in the ways of thy heart You know We constantly tell people That great uh, Great death and destruction Grave danger is on its way You know Grave danger is on its way You know But yet our people just want to remain asleep And say not Who shall control me For my works For the Lord Will surely revenge thy pride Scoffers and scorners, you get on the comment board. You, you get on the comment board. You make your, 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 your stupid parody videos and you talk shit. All right, the Most High will revenge you, man. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? You know, and us, we sin, man. You know, we fast and we pray and we do what we have to do. You know, hope, hoping that the Most High don't put a foot in our ass, man. You know. And this is what the Lord looks at, man. All right. The scriptures say, um, speaks of a them of a contrite heart. Psalms 34 and 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. Going back into what? Second Edges, the eighth chapter of how the um Andrew told Uriel. All right, that the Lord is looking uh, at him, man. All right, because he has humbled himself. And save of such as be of a contrite spirit. So there will be a time to where you're going to need to be saved out of this grave danger. All right, going back to certain shows, like you have certain shows like Walking Dead, um, uh, The Road, you know, uh, Book of Eli, to where every single second... Damn near every single second of the episode, there's something chaotic happening. That's what's going to come into this place, man. The scriptures say it's actually going to it's going to be a time that was never before seen upon earth, you know. So it's actually going to be way worse than these shows, but these shows just just show you, um, just the atmosphere of things, how 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 things are going to be chaotic, man. And you're going to be in situations to where you're constantly fearing for your life, and people don't get it. You know, but they will. They will. But for the righteous, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh will deliver him out of them all. So what what uh, basically constitutes you as a righteous man? All right? One of the characteristics, all right, which only the elect is righteous, and the characteristics of the elect is that they humble themselves um, in the face of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you know? So this is, let me see, back at Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 5. Concerning propitiation, which when you look the word up, propitiation, it basically means the righteous anger of the Heavenly Father. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. So knowing that the Lord can come down and mess you up, man. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Hold thy foot when I come to the mouth of the Lord. I mean to the um, you know, the house of the Lord, man. And say not his mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. Okay? You know? So you know how you have just uh you have something bothering you no matter what you what you uh, do, you can't get it off you. 
That's the Lord's wrath that's going to come upon sinners, man. No matter what you do, the Lord's wrath is going to be on your ass, man. As it says in Amos, what, 5 and 18, the day of the Lord is that when one uh, flee for beer and then a snake met him. He leaned his hand on the wall like, whew, you know, shit just got better. And really, it just got worse, man. All right. You know. So, hey, take heed, man. Take heed. It says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. All right. You know, and hey, we know two thirds not going to take heed, but really, you know, it's we got to warn them too. But for the elect, the hopeful elect watching this, man, you know, the spirit telling you to fast and the spirit telling you to pray more, the spirit telling you to read, you got to do it, better do it, man. You know, because the day of the Lord is rapidly approaching us, man. This year went by like a blink of an eye. So imagine next year, man. You know, next year, it's countless articles about this chip being implemented. You know, which Esau going to have to do something serious, all right, to get the world prepared to take the chip. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, all right? You know, suddenly, man. We was talking about that, Um, you know, brothers was talking about that amongst themselves yesterday, man, to, to where, especially for us pushing his word, you know, Esau got to come take us out um, before shit get uh, hot and heavy out here, man. You got to come and, you know, either put us to death or, you know, um, put us in prison before shit get hot and heavy out here, man. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, but they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Okay? They're not going to profit you. The only thing that's going to profit you all right, is your conscience in the Lord, all right? It's your conscience, all right, is your faith in the Lord, man. Knowing that you did everything that you could, all right? And still, you're still going to be hoping, but, you know, your faith has got to be strong in that day. Second Peter's. Chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. And both which I stir, stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandments of such the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where's the promise of his coming? You know, because even the brother, um, you know, the leader of I came, he had brought a beautiful point of how we talk about prophecy, but there's a set time. It's not like you can talk about it's going to happen the next day. There's a set time for this to happen. All right. So because it may seem like it's tarrying, like the scripture say, though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come. People got to set in their mind that it's never going to happen and saying, where's the promise of his coming? So because they have set in their mind that it's never going to happen. All right. Um. Going into what uh, uh, wisdom of Solomon too, they think that you know they got time to just uh, live it up in their folly and, and not be judged. All right, but it says, and saying, "Where's the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation." All right, which you know that's that's why the scriptures say, uh, going back into wisdom of Solomon too. Reasoning within themselves, yet not aright. All right, it says it right here. All right, for the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright. All right, because when you go into history, the things that the scriptures have uh, said has come to pass. All right, destruction has happened to the um the old uh, known world by way of the flood that has happened, which the Lord uh, said it would through His prophets. All right, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, which the Lord said it would. All right. Uh, um, the Tower of Babel was destroyed, which the, Lord, which the Lord said it would. All right. All these wicked kingdoms was destroyed. So how much, um, how much less do you think uh, Babylon is going to get away with its wickedness, man? All right. And and saying, where's the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of. They are willingly ignorant. All right, they stopped the air, man. 
that by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world. All right. It says, so I can read it again for this. They willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens were of old. OK, by the word of God, this earth was created and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. All right. Going into the firmaments of the, of, you know, over the earth, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perish. See, that's the spirit. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men, because they're never going to get it. So, you know, the only thing they're going to, the only thing two thirds understand is judgment being in their face. All right. So how much more judgment, uh, you know, how much more than being set on fire through thermonuclear missiles? Okay, it goes on to say, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Going to show you that you can't expect the Lord to work in your time. The Lord's time is the Lord's ways is higher than our ways, man. All right, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering for us, word, not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, reading, praying, fasting, you know, getting up with the oculum if you can, doing your lessons, looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of God, where in the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, so hey man, don't be a two. Hey, don't be like the two thirds. They're gonna get this, man. All right. Then wait, we're not safe, man. We're not safe until we out of here, man. All right. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you are can edified. Again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakakwadash. For allow me to do this lesson. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect.